Good evening, esteemed television watchers. Welcome back to Monday Watching. In the course of our program, you will be conveyed the latest burning developments of the week. One of the most important events of the last week was the next presidential elections held in our country. Transparency was observed in the elections with high water turnout. Representatives of international organizations observing in our country also noted this without any hesitation. According to the results of the vote, Ilham Aliyev won 86 percent of the votes and became the president for the next seven years. Dear television watchers, follow us to be informed of the exact results of the elections and other official information. The chairman of Supreme Majors of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic signed a decree on April 9 in 2018 on the approval of the state program for the protection and development of Kapit Ad in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic for 2018 and 2022. Implementation of the decree will enable more opportunities for the development of ancient Kapit weaving art in the Autonomous Republic. On April 11, the next presidential elections were held in Azerbaijan. 3,959,553 people out of 5,314,365 voters attended the election. Voter activity in the presidential election was 74.51%. Ilham Aliyev was elected to President of the Republic of Azerbaijan for the next seven years, amounting 86.3% of the vote. Necessary measures were taken in the Autonomous Republic to hold elections in accordance with the requirements of the law. 292 open and 24 closed election circles were established in seven polling stations. Web cameras were installed and places for observers were allocated. In the Autonomous Republic, 262,874 voters were registered in 616 polling stations in seven election circles. Overall, 222,905 voters cast ballots in the Autonomous Republic. This comprises 82.3% of the total number of voters. On April 11, the chairman of Supreme Majors of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Mr. Vasiv Talabov, together with his family members, voted in the polling station number 4 and 15 located at the comprehensive secondary school named after Heider Aliyev. Then the chairman of Supreme Majors was interested in the process of the election. On April 9, a gold and silver jewelry factory created by Mirage Gold Limited Liability Company was put into operation in Nakhchivan. The chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Mr. Vasiv Talibov, cut the ribbon symbolizing the inauguration. It was reported that the enterprise is engaged in melting, rubber and wax preparation, purification, metal inspection and laboratory, laser quality control and handling, metal working, design and modeling, workshop and ring top jewelry. The company, equipped with Italian and German-made equipments, will produce all kinds of gold and silver jewelry, medallions and badges. The capacity of the very enterprise is about 500 ready-made productions of 5-10 kilograms of non-ferrous metals per day depending on its power, type, weight, model, precious ring top jewelry and brilliant inclusively. The production area is equipped with generator, compressor, transformer, boiler, central ventilation, toxic gas treatment, heating and cooling systems, security cameras, fire protection system, motion and brake sensors, metal detectors have been installed on the area of the enterprise. A firm shop of the company was also set up in Nakhchivan city. 35 people have been engaged to different jobs at the very enterprise. The chairman of Supreme Medalist gave instructions on the application of the oldest embellishments of the Autonomous Republic in the production process process, studying the demand and supply of the market, and together with this the production for all ages, registration of state orders and implementation of the golden received at the enterprise.
On April 14th, the chairman of Supreme Majors of Nakjavan Autonomous Republic, Mr. Vasiv Talubov, visited Nehran village and got acquainted with the restoration works carried out at Imam Zade. It was reported that Nehram Imam Zade, built in the 18th century, is one of the architectural examples to have been created with the Islamic holy ones. Here, the son of the seventh Imam Musa Chazam, Sayyid Agil, was buried. The ceiling of the monument with square shaped basement is covered with arc dome. Turkish Islamic architectural elements were used during restoration works and the historical shape of the Imam Zade was preserved. Following the acquaintance with Imam Zade, the Fatiha was prayed to Sayyid Agel, the seventh Imam Musa Chazam's son. The chairman gave instructions on the preservation of the Imam Zade of Nihram as a historical monument and sanctuary as well as the preparation of the guidebook on Imam Zade, and also renovation works were carried out in the yard of the Imam Zade. We continue our program with the latest social economic news. Glancing at the general picture of the last week, we observed some important innovations happened in the Autonomous Republic. In our next video material, we'll convey to your minds the done works and the measures taken. The Iranian press published articles on the visit of Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Islamic Republic of Iran Mohammad Javad Zarif to Azerbaijan and also its integral part Naktivan Autonomous Republic. Naktivan TV Dota's reports that some Iranian websites have posted information about the visit and also views and photos dealing with his visit. On April 8th, then, for the purpose to promote the tourism potential of the Autonomous Republic, Nakhchivan Holding organized an info tour to the land of Nakhchivan entitled Noah's Home. More than 200 entrepreneurs and tourists from different tourism companies from Turkey, Iran, North Cyprus, Kuwait, Iraq, Arabia, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Qatar, Yemen, and Azerbaijan came to Nakhchivan. During the visit, the guests got acquainted with the historical and cultural monuments of the Autonomous Autonomous Republic visited the tourist enterprises and tasted the examples of our national cuisine. Next event was organized for the self-employment of low-paid families receiving a long-term state social assistance. At the event, documents and cattle were given to low-paid families. Over the past period, 82 low-paid families have been provided with adequate support for self-employment. An event was held in Jehri village of Babek region. The event was dedicated to Nakhchivan's being elected the capital of Islamic culture for 2018. In accordance with the executive order of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan on recruitment of the citizens of the Republic of Azerbaijan from April 1st to 30th to the actual military service, and in parallel demobilization of actual military servicemen a ceremony for the draftees was held in Shahpu Sederek regions and also in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic State Service for conscription. The State Migration Service of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic hosted an event on temporary stay and registration procedure of foreigners and people having no citizenship in the Republic of Azerbaijan with the participation of hotel representatives at Duzdak Hotel. Detailed information was provided about the electronic document circulation carried out through the electronic government portal which was created between the service of hotels in the Autonomous Republic. On April 13th, the first labor fair of this year was held in Sederek region. Twelve people were provided with jobs at the employment event where 78 vacancies were from eight organizations. An open lesson on Haider Aliyev and independent Azerbaijan was held at the Haider Aliyev Museum. The pupils of Nakhchivan Comprehensive Secondary School No. 7 took part in the lesson and got acquainted with the exposition of the museum. On
On Saturday, subordinates were held in Nakhchivan city and regions of the Autonomous Republic. Fruit gardens and planted areas were cultivated, evergreen trees and also new flowers and fruit trees were planted. Comprehensive secondary school staff worked in the yards of educational institutions. Ministries, committees, chief offices, law enforcement agencies actively participated in the subordinates. Young people provided agrotechnical services to the newly created youth garden. The researchers of Nakhchivan Department of Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences discovered two observation towers around the Suzut Fortress in the territory of Jal and Shurut villages of Julfa region. Nakhchivan TV Dota's report said the castles located at the intersection of the Garanlukdara River and the Suzut River, which is mentioned in the epos of Kitabi Dedagurgut, are surrounded by the settlement Suzut. Numerous material examples from the area cover different periods of history. According to the researchers reach ceramics in the area belong to the first 19th century. The first issue of the Khaberlar magazine, headed by the editor-in-chief academician Ismail Hadiyev, was published. The next issue of the magazine, published four times a year, is a series of social and humanitarian sciences. There are scientific articles covering various themes by 45 authors on history, archaeology and ethnography, Azerbaijani language, folklore and literature, arts, economics, draw the focus of the readers. The 24th edition of the Azerbaijan Kapits magazine, co-founded by Azer Ilma Kapit Center and the Presidium of the Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences, was published. The magazine includes authoritative writings covering official chronology, art criticism, various national applications, as well as interviews, scientific articles, and interesting translation material. Informational event within Nizami project, adjustment and structuring of doctoral education in Azerbaijan to common European space was held in Nakhchivan State University, Nakhchivan branch of the Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences, Nakhchivan University, Nakhchivan Teachers Institute, doctoral and dissertant of Nakhchivan Teachers Institute. The semaphores of Nakhchivan State University of Law Faculty students visited Prosecutor's Office of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. The students were informed about the procedure of reviewing appeals and got acquainted with the working principle of the criminalist automation, and afterwards they visited Serious Crimes Court of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. There was also lawyers meeting with students. Presentation of new books was held in the Library of the Religion Studies Speciality of Nakhchivan University. 156 books on 78 units were presented to the library by the Chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. Consultation with the participation of beekeeping farmers was held in Talhangala village of Kengarli region. Implementation of the state program on the development of beekeeping in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic for 2017-2022, the spring care of beekeepers and the care of bee families in accordance with the rules of zoo veterinary and other issues were discussed at the meeting. The event participants were also provided with educational booklets and participants were shown a video about about beekeeping. Landowners of Shahpuz region profiting by the favorable weather conditions started potato planting. Potatoes are mostly grown in Jumur, Agbulak, Chuchu, Bitsenet, Kilus villages of the region. A highly qualified medical brigade of Nakhchivan Diagnostic and Treatment Center held a humanitarian action in Babak region. Surgical operations have been successfully performed on 23 people from low-paid families.
The doctors' brigade of Shahpuz Region Central Hospital examined the residents of Chitali village of the region. Nearly 50 villagers have been examined by the ultrasound scanner. Patients with prostate gland adenoma and chronic prostate inflammation were enrolled in the dispensary and were invited to the Shahpuz Region Central Hospital and other health care institutions for the examination and treatment. Our program is on the way, now the latest sports and cultural news. Nakhchivan Detached Brigade hosted Zone Championship of Shahin Military Sport Game in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. Under the judge's decision, the team of Nakhchivan City Secondary School No. 1 was awarded with first place, Ordubad Secondary Boarding School second place and the team of Nakhchivan City Secondary School No. 14 was awarded with third place. The winners were awarded with diplomas and trophies of the organizers and also honorary orders were given to the winners in different nominations. A symphonic orchestra of people's artist Yeltsin Adidozalov is planned on the eve of 95th anniversary of national leader Heydar Aliyev. For this purpose, Yeltsin Adidozalov, a well-dressed follower of Azerbaijan conducting school in Nakhchivan, honored art worker, professor of the chair of the Baku Musical Academy, conducted a master class for the Nakhchivan State Philharmonic and other cultural institutions. Strong Fight Club athletes successfully represented our autonomous republic at the international tournament. This time their victorious news was conveyed from Agdam. About 300 athletes from nine countries participated in the competition, dedicated to the 95th anniversary of our national leader Hidar Aliyev. Our team won one gold and three silver medals. A friendly mini football match between Nakhchiv and Baku teams was held due to the social program adopted by Jahan Holding Commercial Companies Association. The match ended in favor of Nakhchivan team with a score of 12-2. Teams were awarded with medals and trophies after the match. Nakhchivan has very rich tourism potential. The potential we have enables tourists to take interest in the ancient land each year. The tourist season has already started and the revival is observed everywhere. In order to enhance this sector highly, one knows that the hotels have also great importance in the development of tourism. One of such hotels located in Nakhchivan is Duzdakh Hotel. Located in Duzdakh Massive, one of the wonders of nature in Nakhchivan, this hotel welcomes hundreds of guests every year with the most modern facilities. This hotel has left behind a very remarkable trace in hosting the ninth summit of heads of Turkish-speaking countries held in 2009. Finally, we'll introduce you the facilities of Duzdak Hotel. Located in Duzdak Massif, the Duzdak Hotel is 18 km distance to the Nakhchivan International Airport, 10 km to the center of Nakhchivan City and 2 km to Duzdak Physiotherapy Center. Having a mysterious beauty, Duzdak reflects the richness of our ancient history. Guests feel like they have visited the richest places of our history being in here. Starting its operation in 2008, Duzak Hotel is of six floors with a total of 151 rooms, 100 standard, 8 suits, 35 small suits and also one king suit and will as serve to the highest comfort of the guests. Spa and fitness center, table games, mini football and tennis, basketball court, wide aqua park, an ultra-modern equipment, television, telephone line, fast Wi-Fi, mini bar, safe park, mini Olympic pool and sauna operate in the hotel. Due to the wishes of the guests, they are met at the airport and also city tour to the sites of the city. Historical and religious monuments and travel guide services are provided. Rich menu, open buffet with high service, besides delicious dishes of Azerbaijan cuisine, rare pearls of world cuisine are offered here. 
Tuzdak restaurant having a capacity of more than 300 people has become a great destination for the people and guests in wedding ceremonies, celebration parties, birthdays, jubilees, memorable days, events, entertaining nights. The Tuzdak Hotel has been enjoyed by open-air concerts, entertaining events and events designed for the summer season in the Aqua Park area. It makes the visitors' leisure time much more meaningful. The concerts of the local and foreign singers, the colorful performances is of great importance in rejoicing people. Additionally, there are extensive conditions for patients applying for treatment in Duzdak Physiotherapy Center where the treatment is being carried out on the basis of a professional doctor's diagnosis. Duzdak Physiotherapy Center provides services directly to the hotel. There is also a 24 hours guided car parking service in the hotel. That's all for today. Keep following us to be informed of the latest burning developments of the week. Hoping to be together next Monday at the same time. Goodbye.